Hey folks, I'm Robin Waite on the Self Developers channel and today I'm going to be talking about how the internet has killed modern day marketing. And the reason for this is basically that um, marketing should really be based on uh, building relationships, having conversations with people, um, telling stories and things like that and word of mouth referrals. Um, however, the internet's only been around for 25 years. Um, and I think now everybody thinks that we're going to get a whole load of quick wins out of doing things like Facebook ads, Google ads, having a website, doing loads of social media stuff, doing even doing videos like I'm doing right now. And we think that because we have access to this global marketplace, that all of a sudden it will open up our world to all sorts of different um, people and marketplaces and opportunities. And to a certain extent that's true, but probably one in a thousand people are having any kind of success through, through these different channels. The other 999 people who are also experiencing success are probably more heavily involved in more traditional forms of marketing. So um, what I mean by that is conversation stories, word of mouth referrals um, and, and traditional forms of marketing has been around since time began, since human beings started having conversations with people and started creating products and trading with one another. Um, you know, the internet is in such an infancy at the moment and yet, however, the millennials and the Y generation that are coming through who know nothing else other than the internet um, aren't really taking the time to study the theory which sits behind marketing. And so if you break it down, things like social media, um, the website, video, they're all about basically building rapport and these are all tools that we should be using, most definitely, but they are not marketing. The thing which is marketing is the practice of building trust, building relationships through having conversations, real conversations with people. I'm not even talking about Skype even, but sitting down and having conversations with people. People buy from people at the end of the day and the only way to get people to buy from people is to have those conversations with people. So building trust, building relationships, building conversations, think about how when you bring a new product or service to the marketplace, think about how you are gonna have a conversation with somebody, how your marketing funnel builds it into doing things like consultations, speaking engagements, meeting up with people on a face-to-face -face basis so that you have the opportunity to demonstrate to them what value it is that you hold or that your products hold or that your services hold. The value that your products and services can bring to them that they can then use in their business to hopefully save a little bit of time or make a little bit more money. Because the internet's only been around for 25 years, um, that we've been through various stages as well of evolution. So you've gone through things like the te technological, um, uh, uh, we've gone through technology through the early part of the 20th century um, you know when we started to um, communication started to get um, built up more strongly so uh, even something as simple as the telephone uh, opened the world up to us but then people still had conversations with people that's what the telephone is all about ultimately the industrial revolution was built up over 250 years the technological revolution was built up over 125 years so in terms of like the internet age, 25 years isn't a long time. The way I see it, the internet is only a tenth of the way through its potential lifespan of the, technology, the internet revolu revolution. So what this means is, imagine when the internet came about 25 years ago to where it is now, think about in another 225 years ago where the internet could potentially take us. When you start to think about things like virtual reality, chatbots, artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, all sorts of technology like that which we're already on the cusp of 25 years into the age of the internet, imagine where it's going to go beyond that. But that is all well and good. When you launch a product or launch a service, just take a step back for a moment and think about the conversations, the relationships and the rapport and the, and the trust which you're going to build with your target market. And think about how you can take yourself and your products to them to make the process of them going through their buying decision that much easier. I hope that's kind of got you thinking about how, how you're marketing your business and your products at the moment. Um, 
There are tons of videos on the self-development channel. I'm Robin Waite. I'm hoping to produce a few more videos like this. Um, I look forward to catching up with you in the future. Thanks very much.